dive it into, no, I'll just stay there. Dive to themselves. It takes a lot to be extra. I just told this to one of my kids at work today. Anything that comes very quick and easy in life, the bare minimum, they usually don't last long. Do you notice that? The things that come right now, and I don't have to really work hard for them, they don't tend to last long. But the things that I gotta put in work and put in time and give my effort to my, my Jesus, my lover who I love and who I'm waiting for, the things that we work for, those are the things that are long lasting, right? And so the five who were wise, they took time. They took time to get the extra oil. They were prepared. They knew that the bare minimum wasn't gonna cut it. It was good, it'll get me to where I need to be, probably. But I know that I gotta be, I gotta be prepared because something might happen. And so they put in the extra time, they went the extra mile, got the extra oil, probably spent a little extra for the cheapos in here, like myself, but they probably they did something extra. They died to themselves. Part of what we have to do as, as sons and daughters of the living God, um, we have to die to ourselves. It can't always be about me. I'm not that special. To God I am. But to myself, it's not always about me. I have to die to myself. I have to die to the flesh that wants to do those fleshly things. Guess what? Your flesh does fleshly things because it's flesh. That's the point of it being flesh. Steak tastes good because it's steak. Things do things what they're created for. And so, yeah, my flesh wants to do certain things. We, 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 man, we wait for a feeling. We wait to feel like it's the right time. We wait to feel the presence of God. We wait to feel the Holy Spirit before we just get up and do it. Right. The flesh is going to cry out for fleshly things because that's what it was created. It wasn't created to do. He was created to worship God and then man manipulated it. And ever since then, we know that flesh is just, that's just what it's going to do. We can argue, we can theologize, if that's a word about it. It's not going to change the fact that that's what it does. And so we have to die to ourselves and allow God to, to lead and guide every move. David Bingham said when he, when he was here, I need nothing other than what the Father tells me to do. Nothing. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine what life would be like if we did nothing other than what the Father told us to do? What kind of world do you think that would be? A good one. What it's supposed to be. Probably the entire universe won't be good, but, but our world and the body of Christ would be exactly who we're created to be. We have to die to ourselves, and we might, we have to decrease so that he can increase. That's right. What does that mean to me? I let go of everything that I am, and everything that, that I am becomes smaller and smaller and smaller so that he can be. Folks, you're not losing yourselves when you decrease. You're not losing a piece of who you are. You're gaining. Everything that you are is found in the Father. Mm -hmm. Every characteristic, every joke you make, every note you sing, every talent you have, everything that you are is found in the Word of God, and it's, it's lost in the presence of God. That's why you notice sometimes if you really go into worship, you get lost, almost like a trance. Not like, not a, like a weird trance, but you get lost in the presence of God. Everything that you are, it's, it's lost. It's caught up in the Father. It's caught up in the heavenly realm, the supernatural, the kingdom of heaven. Right. That's why once you get saved, you, you don't identify with the world. Because who you are is not here. We're, we're this is a temporary home. We're bypassers. Mm -hmm. To say what's up, hand by, do some cool things on the way. But who you are is lost in the kingdom of heaven. It's lost in who God is. That takes me to my next point. They, they ceased to be normal believers and they stepped into the realm of supernatural.